From the moment the special one-shot chapter from Mitsuki came out several years ago and was drawn by Naruto series creator Masashi Kishimoto, Mitsuki has been a character that a lot of fans have been rightfully interested in. However, with the Boruto anime currently giving Mitsuki a ton of focus, I wanted to revisit this topic that I did a while back where I discussed Mitsuki's enormous potential. In today's video, I plan to share with you all in detail the full power of Mitsuki and the latest installment of the Naruto True Power series and I guarantee you even if you're the biggest Mitsuki fan I guarantee that there's going to be something in this video that you didn't know. When it comes to Mitsuki I don't think any of us are shocked that he's so far ahead of a majority of his peers in the Boruto generation. I don't know about you but I remember how excited I was when I saw Mitsuki just casually show up and beat the hell out of Awabi during their fight. After all he is the son of Orochimaru who was one of the three legendary Sanin who were trained by the late third Hokage. It's exactly for that reason that Mitsuki is one of the three most powerful ninja of his generation. When he first was shown in the one shot chapter, Mitsuki was shown casually reacting to an attack by Suigetsu and in the very same chapter where he debuted his sage mode transformation, even Orochimaru remarked that Mitsuki's ceiling has surpassed his own own power, which is quite the statement from someone like Orochimaru who is responsible for the death of two Kages. Even without Sage Mode, Mitsuki has shown that he is quite the powerhouse. Very early on in the Boruto series, Mitsuki was shown using Wind and Lightning style ninjutsu and later on in the series during the events of the manga, we actually see that Mitsuki has access to using Kakashi Hadake's Purple Lightning which makes him an even bigger threat when it comes to battle. When he's using lightning style ninjutsu. However, a skill set a lot of you guys might have missed is the fact that Mitsuki has infrared detection and has hearing that is so great that he can hear low frequency waves that the normal human ear cannot detect, which is shown very briefly in the Boruto manga. When it comes to Taijutsu, Mitsuki mirrors Orochimaru's fighting style to a lesser extent, though he does stretch his body and uses the abnormal makeup of his body to fight in a very fluid and graceful manner. Most notably, Mitsuki uses his soft physical modification ninjutsu which allows him to stretch his arms in the way that we've seen in the Boruto anime which makes him an even deadlier foe when you realize that he has to strike in shadow snake ninjutsu. Now for those of you who need a refresher or those of you who know about the basics of the ninjutsu, I want to point out that this is a very flexible jutsu. This is a summoning ninjutsu that allows the user to summon snakes from any part of their body which means it isn't just limited to appearing underneath the sleeves of a person like we saw Mitsuki use as well as Anko in the early parts of Naruto. This also means that like his father Mitsuki might one day have a giant snake sprout out from his mouth. This also allows him to fight from long range but it also allows him to poison a target since these fangs of the snakes are often poisonous. These snakes can also produce swords of their own, which makes for an even bigger threat to deal with, especially when you start combining poison. If that isn't enough, Mitsuki has displayed strong sensory abilities in both the anime and manga, though he's done so in a very subtle way. In the anime, he's shown being able to detect the presence of enemies, and in the manga, he's able to hear low frequencies, which means that he can eventually adjust that hearing to pick up on the smaller frequencies frequencies of sounds that the human body produces unconsciously. This means that the new Team 7 potentially has a tracker ninja on their squad who happens to also have Sage Mode. Mitsuki very early on in the series was shown being able to use lightning and wind style jutsu, but by the time of the tuning exams arrived, Mitsuki was also shown being able to use collaboration ninjutsu, which is the combination of jutsu that creates an even more powerful ninjutsu 
jutsu when you add in all the various chakra elements. This was first brought up to Naruto fans in the Naruto Shippuden filler arc which involves the three tales where Jiraiya explains the requirements for this ninjutsu and it should be noted that Jiraiya actually used the combination ninjutsu in the Naruto manga when he was fighting against pain after he went into sage mode. When it comes to Mitsuki's sage mode, it's even more hacks than any of you guys have even considered and I want to put emphasis on the fact that it is hacks. Sage mode itself comes with a major boost to the base power of the user. However, Mitsuki's sage mode as stated by Orochimaru is more powerful than you guys could ever imagine. Mitsuki's sage mode produces snakes that are made out of pure energy and they can aid him in battle and they can bite his targets and grab onto different objects. The reason that Mitsuki's sage mode is so dangerous is that it combines the lesser known power in the Naruto universe which is sage transformation. After the fourth data book came out which was released after the Naruto manga ended, series creator Masashi Kishimoto wrote that sage transformation is a way of achieving sage mode by exposing bodily fluids to nature energy which allows for weapons to be formed on the bodies of the person who's using this. Even Orochimaru noted that Mitsuki combining sage mode and sage transformation will lead to him being an unstoppable fighter. Essentially, Mitsuki, who is already insanely fast, could create a jet booster appendages on his back to enhance his already incredible speed, which could make Mitsuki an incredible threat in battle. Also, Mitsuki in sage mode could one day fire off cannon blast a chakra just like Jugo did during the Five Kage Summit. The level of speed that's required to evade these blasts of chakra will require someone to be at the speed level of the Rai Kage using lightning chakra at least in terms of reaction speed. While it's easy to get caught up in the fact that Mitsuki can use lightning release uh, striking snake, the Boruto stream, and the wind style gale palm jutsu, it should be noted that Mitsuki has been severely holding back when it comes to his power because Orochimaru has ordered him to do so. Also, as you guys can see, if Mitsuki were to use his full power, and if he were to fully master Sage Transformation, Mitsuki might be the one member of Team 7 that you wouldn't want to start any problems with. So what did you guys think? Well, that's it for my latest installment of the Naruto True Power series. Let me know which characters you would like to see me cover in the future. Also, if you know anyone who is a fan of the older content, or is a Naruto fan or a Boruto fan, in. please spread the word to them about this channel as always if you like anything i had to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe share the video and as always guys thank you so much for watching until the end of the video please have an incredible day